Hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to talk about an experiment I did trying different ways of specifying colors in Midjourney. Experiments don't always reveal new discoveries. Nevertheless, you learn something through an experiment. For those of you who don't want to watch the whole video, I will go ahead and tell you that to obtain vibrant colors in your images, I found no other term that works better than vibrant colors. Let's step back and see how I came to that conclusion. All of us who have used Midjourney know that there is a very strong default style to the images that Midjourney generates. If you simply type the word sky into Midjourney, you'll get a beautiful sunsets with fantastic clouds and incredible colors. That tells you straight away about the bias built into Midjourney for colorful artistic creations. A hat tip to Lev Manovic for suggesting sky as a mechanism for testing the default stylistics of an AI image generator. Let's experiment with colors in Midjourney. We will use a line from Dante's Divine Comedy, Canto 13 of Inferno, where the poet talks about the harpies, mythological monster birds, part woman and part animal. Their rings are wide, their necks and faces human, their feet are taloned, their great bellies feathered, they utter their laments on the strange trees. The entire Divine Comedy is full of incredible imagery. See works by Willem Plague and other artists. And I'm slowly in the process of making an entire series of images based on Dante's descriptions of hell. I'm going to modify the lines from the poem to create a plot. Mythological monster birds, feather bellies, bald rings with the necks and faces of women screaming at wondrously strange trees. I'm leaving out any description of color. This description is bizarre. Let's see what Midjourney gives us. Those are definitely monster birds. We have this set of four art styles. The top two have a dominant green tone that fits perhaps a forest theme. Then we get into a muted color palette. I've actually done this plot before to have an idea as to what I can get with a few variations. First, let's add vibrant colors to the plot. I'm also, also going to make an aspect ratio 3 to 2. I'm placing the vib vibrant colors right after the first phrase. Mythological monster birds. I'm not sure if that placement will give the color modifier more emphasis or not. These colors are definitely vibrant. I'm going to modify the plot with two additional terms that are not color related but should enhance the aesthetics of the images. Those words are beautiful and detailed. Superb images. And I want to re-roll this to generate another, another set. Let's upscale the image in the lower left. I want to try some variations of how the colors are described for this image. First, I want to strip it down to muted colors instead of vibrant colors. Since I used the PCD image as an image prompt, the composition of the images in this grid are similar. Plus, it seems that Midjourney carried over the color scheme a bit, but with a more muted palette, that this is still very colorful. Let's see what happens if I tap in the, the pop freshly without using an image prompt. I'm not sure I would call these muted, but the term muted may be too vague. Although in many cases, it, it may simply mean desaturated, and these are desaturated colors. But for this video, I really wanted to explore different ways of, say, of saying vibrant colors. Are there different terms that are better than vibrant colors? Let's go through a series of terms, replacing vibrant colors with different terms, and look at the images that we find. The other thing I'm changing the prompt is the color style. There are 15 different color styles. 
I'll let you enjoy these images on the screen without any commentary. At the end, I'll provide some closing thoughts on the color terminology that I like best and the distinctions among the vibrant color terms. I will jump in to say that this is the first time we're seeing a different art style with the female faces. For these type of images, which are like a digital art piece, the different color descriptions did not seem to make any differences in most cases. I thought that shimmering was a case where we really saw a difference, but the difference is more in the texture of the birds. Unlike traditional art, you're not specifying the color of each stroke, the color of each section, the color of every aspect. You could try doing that, but you may also be for, for the AI to provide you with options. Opponents experiment. Adding a color palette adds an image prompt. I deliberately chose a palette that are sh shades of the same color, in this case, yellow. This way we should be able to clearly see the influence of the color palette. In this prompt, I added the description without any other color description. Yes, that certainly picked up a darkest yellow tone in line with the supplied color prompt, 
but the art style is very different than what we've been seeing. Not nearly as good. I'm glad I tried this experiment. I did it so that you don't do know how to do it yourself. The results might be different in different scenarios and for different types of images. But it has answered my question. And that's why we do experiments, because we have a question. I'm going to stick with vibrant colors where I want a very dynamic color effect to the images. Let me know if you have favorite terms that you like to use that you have found work better or if you have tried different variations of this experiment. I hope you enjoyed the Monster Birds and learning a bit about color types in Mid Journey. Enjoy creating images.